The Minnesota Vikings made two official moves today, two re-signings, and there may be a third move on the horizon based off what one particular Vikings player is doing with their property. We'll talk about it. The first move, the Minnesota Vikings re-signed offensive tackle Blake Brandle. That's a one-year, $940,000 deal. I love this signing, and you should too. It's interesting. He filled in three starts for the injured Christian Derisaw when he was dealing with the concussion. And with offensive linemen, when you don't hear about them, you know they did a good job. It's only when you're made aware of their presence to where you're like, all right, bro, what are you doing? And I, honest to God, mind you, this is me. Anybody that can find something to complain about the Vikings, it's me. I, honest to God, cannot think of one time in those three starts to where I said, Blake Brandle, what are you doing? Get it together. He did an admirable job. I'm glad he's here. You need depth on the offensive line. This is a great signing for the Vikings. The second signing today, Kairis Tonga, also a one-year $940,000 deal. Another great signing by Minnesota today. And for what's asked from a depth piece on the defensive line as far as fresh legs while still being a disruptor when the starter goes out for a couple of plays a game, Kairis Tonga fits that bill. He's good at football. This ain't difficult. In fact, I wouldn't even be surprised if once this video is uploaded to YouTube, I won't be surprised if the Vikings made another depth signing. This should be called Depth Day for the Minnesota Vikings. I absolutely love it. Now, as far as a potential third move that Maybe on the horizon, but not really. Doesn't necessarily correlate, but we'll talk about it anyway. According to Ben Gessling, outside linebacker Zadarius Smith appears to be listing his Egan home for sale. Now, it could be a nothing burger, perhaps when he purchased it last year, that time to now, potentially the home value increase. Let's say that's the case. I could see a situation to where he's saying to himself, I'm going to turn a profit now, sell this house before the housing market goes to crap again, and buy another house in Minnesota, everything's going to be fine. Or... Or he's been made aware, potentially he could get cut or traded because in 2023, Zadari Smith carries a $17 million cap hit. Trade or cut him before June 1st, you save $13.7 million. The first half of 2022, he was outstanding, getting after the quarterback, wreaking havoc on the football field. Compare that to the second half, he was awful. A disappearing act, you couldn't find him. And here's what we're not going to do on this channel, is use the Anthony Barr argument. Oh my God, pressure rate, he's one of the best in the league at almost getting after the quarterback. No, you are Zadarius Smith. Finish plays on the quarterback, and you didn't do that in the second half. Him potentially selling his home doesn't necessarily correlate to him not being on the team, but what I do know is if you're Quasi Adolfo Mensa, there's no way in hell he stays on this team at a $17 million cap hit. Either restructure, pay cut, whatever the hell, if he doesn't agree to it, cut him and save $13.7 million because we can't necessarily count on you in 2023 to be consistent because in 2022, you weren't consistent at all. I don't know what's going to happen. Tough decisions to be made. Zadari Smith, something will happen soon. I do know that.